Joe Smith. He said you beat Smith by boxing him, working behind straight shots. Feels like he's got the better jab, that he's quicker, and he moves better. Right hand from Alvarez. But well, Smith Jr. just sat right there at mid-range and didn't fire any punches. He didn't throw any jab or anything. And so what did Alvarez do? He lined stop, him stop, up stop. for the jab. Throw their right hand. Both these guys need to make sure that they keep their head off the line or get their head off to the line. And the way out of the ring, applying pressure, short right hand, trying to get around. With those arms. A lot of that stuff is being blocked, Tess. You know, like, ooh. Or shot, keep an eye on that. Like right there, as soon as that. Junior. You know, those right hands that Alvarez is trying to set up like that. Out his career. You can constantly hear Capo Bianca. Mm. See, Joe Smith just being Joe Smith. Ball not really concerned about any punches coming back from Alvarez. He's going to live or die. Mm. Again, I don't think that's Alvarez's temperament. He wants to lay back. Seem to buzz him for a split second. And I, I can't relate personally, fighter to fighter. I mean, I was a guy. As you swell up, just got to let it drip out. Short left hand. And I mean, they, they continue to tell him as promoter, the WBC, wait, it's coming next. It's coming next. Just be like they won in their corner saying, listen, man, you got knocked out. You can hear Capa Bianco saying, don't walk straight in, Joey. So he just stepped. You see the blood right there. That's what happens when you let a decent punch or a strong. See these offensive waves from Smith Jr. There was a right hand between punches from Alvarez while Smith was on the attack. Good stuff here. It's causing. Oh, there's problems. a left hand that sweeps in. It's around the corner. Look at the thudding blows from Joe Smith Jr. as he's on the attack here in round five. Uppercut reigns. That's the plus. Not only does he have volume, but he also has punching power. You have to deal with. Be my guest, because let me tell you, this is a man that fought with a ten, with eight. tough contender who's fought everybody, who's willing to fight everybody. He didn't have an opportunity to be tough. He got caught in the fight. Smith is going to continue to come forward and press forward. He believes tonight, gentlemen. In the words of the late Nazim Richardson, the great trainer, so they said all the right things. Yeah. Good guy to root for it. Great story. But you always see. Hang on here. He says, look, Joe Smith has spent a lot. Swelling around that nose. He's been taking a step back and taking deep breaths. There's a right hand from Alvarez. Oh, yes, and then you get comfortable, and then you leave yourself. I think the only reason why that happened is because his hands go. Alvarez wants no part of it. You can see the power from Smith. Mm. And now letting his hands go. Nice. So a nice. Tess, if he continues to fight like this, he's going to get knocked out. Now the right hand. The big glob of petroleum jelly on a cut. I get it. Yeah. yeah. You know what I like? What I like with Smith when he changes the speed up like that. He has a lot of success when he changes the speed up. Instead of just one, two, one, two. Power punch connect advantage. There's a right lead, and then he sends him Test. through the ropes Test. to start. Eight, Alvarez has nine. to make his That's way it. back through the ropes, and this fight is over. Joe Smith Jr. Joe the Beast Smith Jr.